Hi, I'm Eddie. And I'm Bethany. And we are preparing to become missionaries in Cambodia. So I started doing missions um, kind of out of fluke. I was at a youth conference and I heard about that there was people who hadn't heard about Jesus. And I thought I did. And I thought the simple solution would be is I'd go to them and I'd tell them about Jesus. And from there I started traveling to Africa, South America again, to Europe, to Asia, to all over the place, to the point where God then specifically led me into water missions. And that's um, where I ended up in Cambodia, where I met Bethany. I did a short-term trip when I was like 15, and I realized I really enjoyed helping people. And then after that, I was I was really hooked. Uh, God had started to stir my heart for Cambodia, and so then it was really about what, what God's heart was, and following whatever piece of God's heart that He gave me. And it happened to be Cambodia. Who knew? <laughs> I was living in Cambodia as a missionary. I was working with YWAM, and I went to a, a worship night that our friends hosted, and Eddie was there doing water missions. So during the course of that, we became friends, and the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is Anna Jack. <laughs> I knew even before I married Eddie, like, Cambodia is a lifetime call for us. You just know walking down the street, like, uh, the hope that God wants to bring, the restoration that God wants to bring to that nation. It's, you can, you can feel God's heart every time you pray for that nation. It's just been like the place that made my heart beat faster. That was how I knew it was different from every other country. So when I was in Cambodia, I saw the deprivation of education. The Khmer Rouge killed every intelligent person in the country in the 1970s. I decided that I wanted to become an educator somehow, but I had no money. So I got, I started researching ways to get free education. I found out if you get a job at a school, some schools will give you free education. And started applying until I got a job at a school I liked. And then I just finished my master's degree. And Bethany is getting her bachelor's degree in communications. We plan to take that with us to Cambodia and pass that knowledge on. The biggest ways that we need help are we need uh, prayer, encouragement, um, and uh, sending financial support, both monthly, annually, or one-time donation is great. Volunteering, like we're planning to church plant, so anyone who wants to come and beside us and help us church plant as well. The need is so great anything you can give like you want to come and just serve for a week like the need is so great we'd be really stoked if you would partner with us giving financially through praying for us you get to be part of what god is doing and just i just think that's really awesome that god loves us to do it together uh, so we would love for that to happen